We were 11th in the Shattered Relics League yesterday and one of the first people to unlock the final fragment. Now that we have that fragment and the time 16 to XP boost that comes with it, it's time to really climb up these ranks. Let's get into it. So just doing some Herbie War right now, working towards that 250 Herbie toss. We're at what, 14 mil Hunter XP. There is another Elite toss at 25 mil for every skill. We're about five mil off of that on Fishing now too. Fishing is like the quickest skill in the world. With the time 16 XP and the Greedy Gathering Relic, you just, I don't know, it's so, so quick. Also trains up my agility a bunch. When my agility is higher, we'll be able to do the Sepulcher and get some more points from that. Uh, but we're probably going to leave Herbie up more in here in a second. I don't want to do the whole 250 at one point. We'll do it little by little. I'm going to move on to Slayer because there's a fuck ton of points to that. So I want to imbue... Although I don't have a Slayer Helm yet, I want to imbue a Slayer Helm, so I am doing the Soul Wars minigame tutorial right now, so that when Soul Wars games are running, I can go get my points really quickly, and I don't have to worry about it later, because these kind of things don't come around that often. Dwarf Cannon done. Okay, so I never got the Prayer Relic that automatically just buries bones and scatters them for you, so I'm literally going to run around the, b the Bone Yard of Shadows, or whatever it's called, and start burying bones and hope I get this Relic, dude. This is how damn bad I am. There's an opportunity to do Soul Wars right now. Shout out to the Hardcore Drip CC. Not really sure how many chances I'll get to do this, and I do need to get the thing to un imbue my Slayer Helm, so yeah. 500 points to imbue my Slayer Helm. I do have a Relic on right now that will give me two times the reward points, so hopefully that helps out. Okay, and that is win a game of Soul Wars for 25 points. Okay, I got 810 Zeal tokens. I need 500 to imbue my Black Mask, and I need 250 for one of these, uh, the Ectoplasma thingy. That's a 25 point toss right there to do that. And we'll save these tokens for when I have a Slayer Helm. Oh my god. Alright, I got D-Longs finally. I'll just go kill some imps now to finish this task. No way! I got a- Oh my god, bro. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Thank god, bro. Thank god. That's fucking pog, dude. Finally got the task done for earning some Slayer points. Okay, I just bought a cannon real quick. Okay, I have 2,570 steel bars, so I'm just gonna make a fuck ton of cannonballs. I'll stop at 3.5k cannonballs for now. Do I just- is this the most opt- oh, it's, it's 25 points for setting up a Kodorf crown. That's poggers. I'm gonna make some expeditious bracelets, sorry, however you say it, because I'm gonna go boost spiders for slayer points, and it'll just speed it up. Okay, I have 580 slayer points, which means I can go now and get a black mask. Okay, let's assign myself cave horrors. Okay, I'm gonna buy the ability to make a slayer helm, and I'm gonna unlock bigger and badder, which means I can get superiors now. Which is another 25 point toss too. Damn, I just got an elite toss completed for activating three set effects at the same time. Have you done that already, Maz? Okay, my set I am set up here at the cave horrors. My hope is I can bury the bones and get the uh, relic that I'm looking for. My hope is that I will get, uh, what's it called? A black mass within the task. And then I can move on to really flying up with the points. Defeat a superior slayer creature, 25 points. Okay, we got the black mask with 30 kills left. Still didn't get the prayer relic, man. Still did not get the prayer relic. At this point, I literally might have to go to Boneyard and start burying bones again. And that's the Slayer task done, and I still don't have this bone relic that I really need. I am literally going back to Boneyard, and I'm just going to start burying bones, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I finally got it. I finally got it. Please. The praying respects fragment. Let's go, man. Let's go. This basically me it works like... A this basically works like a bone crusher, so whenever I kill something, it automatically gets buried. Oh my god, let's go, dude. Let's go. Praying respect. So, bury bones and ashes are auto buried and scattered with 50% XP, 100% 100 XP, and 200% XP. Nice. Okay, let's make this Slayer home. Nice. That's a 25, uh, that's a 25 point toss right there. Is wearing it one? No, 15,580 15, 15, now. I'm also going to assign myself blood velts. And let's imbue this Slayer Helm. Let's go. Nice. You sense a newfound power emanating from your Slayer Helmet. Cool. I'm right, gonna make myself some steel darts to go before I start barraging these tasks. Got my little dancer set up. Let's get to it. Plan of action for today is to do Slayer and unlock some high level gear along with it. We saved Slayer for after we got the 15,000 points because although it's super quick and easy points and I could have been a higher rank earlier, I wanted to wait for the time 16 XP boost in order to be long term efficient and not blow my load early like some of the other top page people who would have done it with the times 12 XP. Having the ability to choose my tasks as well as basically having next to no cost for barraging because I saved 90% of my runes, on top of the fact I now had the prayer relic which auto buries bones for me, I'm in a really good position to fly out points incredibly quickly today. Okay, I just got 80 Slayer which means that when I finish this Bloodveld toss I'm going to assign myself Necrils and then I'll move on to that. 
I've been barraging defensively, so I've been getting my defense level up too, to 83. My HP is at 97, almost 99. There's a toss there. Really good. My mage is at 16 mil. There's another toss at 25 mil. Finish this toss, so I'm going to tell you out of here. Go assign myself Necreals and then come back. Okay, this is so much easier because they're not fat as fuck like the Blood Bells. We're getting 16k XP drops. We're going to be a 99 def, 25 mil mage, 99 HP, and a bunch of other Slayer tasks done in no time. I think a Mystic Air Staff is a task, if I'm not mistaken. Please, please say it ain't so. Yep, 25 League Points. Let's go. I just got 70 Prayer, finally. And that is a hard task for activating Piety Prayer. So now I'm at 15,655. Alright, I had to meet my perp stream. I just hit 99 HP. Another 125 league points, 15,780 now. Uh, a little bit off, 25 mil mage and other stuff like that. Where oh, Slayer level is also 85. Wait, I didn't even realize our Slayer level is 85. We're going to switch over to an Abbey's Demons task after this then. Actually, I can go do it now. Yo, real quick, if you're one of the 40% of the people who watch my vids but aren't yet subbed, hook a brother up. I am less than 200 subs away from 100k subscribers. I'm grinding, I'm grinding 24 hour days on leagues and I'll be continuing to do so. So you don't want to miss out on any of the future videos. Sub up, hook me up. And let's get on with the video. It's another 125 point toss to slay an abyssal demon. 15,905 now. That's awesome. Only one toss needed to get my abyssal whip. I will absolutely take that. Equip that shit. That's another 125 league points. 16,030 now. Let's go skip this task. Just completed another task. 110 combat. 76 prayer. 50 points. We're now at 16,080. Let me go get another task real quick. Defeat 10 superior slayer creatures. Another 50 points right there. It's 16,130. And a dark totem top, too. The superiors always drop that, huh? In here. Obtain 25 magillion, magillion million magic XP. Another 125 league points. 16,255 now. Okay, just completed my task. I'm also 93 Slayer. I'm going to go assign myself Smoke Devils now and get started on that. It's a task to get a task from Konar. So let's assign ourselves Smoke Devils. Five points right there and let's get to it. Okay, let's unlock the boy Thermi for 30 renown points. We've got loads of these. We're just going to use it on unlocking bosses and stuff like that. Wait, if I'm playing range against the boss... Oh! Dude, it's going to aggro another one when it walks past. I'll have to drink a prayer pot. <laughs> okay, we got it anyway. How many points is that? 175? Oh, it's because I defeated a Slayer boss too. I'm not going to tell us. Cool. Now we're at 16,435 points. That is another 125 point toss for just defeating a normal Smoke Devil. So we're at 15,650 just like that. That is crazy. Cult I just got an Occult Necklace off the Superior I just got, which is awesome. I think equipping Occult Necklace is, is another 125 points. Yeah, it is. Thermi just gave me 375 points out of nowhere. 16,685. We absolutely take those. All right, time to get the fuck out of here, yo. And this right here is 99 defense all through barraging it. Another 125 points, 16,810. We're about to hit 25 mil hit points as well, which is going to be another 125 points. 25 mil hit points, another 125 points. 97 Slayer at the same time as well. Very, very nice. Four Sages Renown each out of that. We have a bunch of Sages Renown now. Now we're at 16,935. And that is defeat a gargoyle in Mauritania for 50 points right there. A smashing time, 16,985. And that is defeat an abyssal demon, which is another 15 points. We're now over 17,000 points. Jeez. All right, and that's defeating a necreal, which is actually still my slayer task in Tirwin, another 50 points. And this is a dark beast in Tirwin completed. Can I, get, can I get a 1kc dark bow for the one time? I've literally never gotten a dark bow drop in my life. I've never killed a Dark Beast in my life before either, so that's probably why. 50 League Points like that, just like that, 7,135. And that is Defeat Cave Kraken, which should be another 50 point task right there. Did we get a 1kc Trident? So unlucky, man. Okay, let's unlock Cerberus. 50 points, big spender. I just died a fucking Cerberus. Yep. And that is defeat Cerberus for 125 points. Anything else out of that? I'm not too sure. But we're at 11, uh, 17,315. 75 points to unlock Hydra. Say less. What you are about to witness is my first ever Hydra kill in uh, ever. Okay? So take that into consideration before you roast me down in the comments. Okay. Which one do I have to summon?
Oh, but that's the east wall. Well, onto this thing. Bro, you need to give me clearer instructions, bro. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, well that is one way to take rank 5. That is one way to take rank 5. Good fight to the alchem alchemical hydra. Probably gonna have to brush up uh, my skill on that. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Oh, I just got a fragment. Damn, I just got a Sardoman Definance Fragment, but yeah. And now we are officially rank 5 with that kill. That is 125 points, 17,565, rank 5 on the League Points Leaderboards. Not only did we get our hands on a Slayer Helm imbued, a Whip, and an Occult Necklace today, we took rank 5 in the League for the first time. I'm going to continue grinding this shit out hard for the entire 6 weeks, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like if you want to see more, and I will see you guys later.